How to use VTiger for CRM. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be covering the platform VTiger, which is basically a huge um, customer relationship management platform. It is, it is full of tools that work, will basically help you with many different things that you can do when it comes to customer relationship management. And there's a lot to cover. So VTiger offers plenty of tools and uh, things that will help, which you will see in a bit. So let's actually get started and talk about how to get started with VTiger, how to sign up and all of those things. But before we even start with that, you will need to understand the pricing points. Uh, so you are more prepared with how uh, much you know you need to pay to get to the full experience. So here you can calculate your price see the types of uh, plans that they offer. So for one growth, one professional, one enterprise, one AI, and there's uh, more stuff here that you can go ahead and check out and see which ones actually suit you best. Just make sure that you compare all of them first. However, with that being said, there's also a free trial for each plan. So if you want to go ahead and take a tour, try it out first before you commit to anything, you can actually go ahead and get started for free. So let's actually get started and talk about how to sign up for VTiger for free and then maybe upgrade if you like it. So just visit vtiger.com and then from this page, you will need to go ahead and uh, either put your email here and get started with VTiger or you can just click on 15 days free trial on the top right and it's going to take you to the sign up page. So here you can just go ahead and sign up uh, either by entering your email address or sign up with Google. I'm just going to go through these steps of signing up. I'm not going to bore you with it. It's very basic and simple signing up process. So when I'm in the dashboard, I will just uh, get back to you. So once you finish your signing up process to the free trial, uh, here you'll be greeted with the dashboard. It depends on where you land. Sometimes you will land in the contacts or dashboard or whatever it may be. Regardless, how VTiger works is pretty much all in this one space. So you have this dashboard here. And once you click on it, you will see all the options that you have. And it is super user friendly because everything is set uh, in different groups. So essentials here, you will have leads where you can create, update and follow the leads that you have. Contacts where you obviously have a list of all the contacts that you have. You can update them, whether they're um, a customer or, you know, a part of a lead and so on. Same goes for organization. Uh, you've got uh, more stuff like events, tasks, documents and a lot more stuff in here. Uh, that you have within the essentials tab. You have also the administration options where you can manage all the users that are working with you in VTiger. You have more stuff like the workflows, which you can set up. You have more lists uh, like add-ons if you want to have more add-ons uh, and different apps that are going to help you with your experience with VTiger. Uh, also for, for analytics, you can actually go ahead and see the reports with all the numbers and stuff that you have been working on and the dashboard was which is going to just give you an overall view of all that's been happening in your VTiger um, account. And then we've got also import here where you can import um, different types of data like customers or things like that from other services, which you can just go ahead and do. And then this is all within the essentials, you can go to the marketing and you'll have all the marketing options here again with the leads and stuff, but you can also have or have access to the email campaigns uh, and more stuff in here. Sales is going to be a big one if that's what you, uh, your company is looking for to using VTiger, where you can create deals, update them and so on. You can also forecast uh, and have quotas. You have a lot of stuff like sales insights, documents and more stuff here as well. So there's plenty of things to do within the sales. Help desk is also very, very useful, which is going to basically help you create cases. So for example, if you want to resolve a problem that occurred with a customer, you can also have them in here. 
um, in the cases and you can assign them to one of the users that you are working with you in vtiger and plenty more stuff in here and also if i didn't mention also you can create tasks here and assign them to people uh, so this is also going to be beneficial for project management for you and your team members and then there's projects um, self-explanatory you know you have your projects you have project milestones um, more stuff about project management this is also very very useful inventory service desk tools and platform also to have different types of options to go through now what i suggest that you start with now obviously this could seem like too much but it is actually very simple if you think about it you just locate the thing that you want to do uh, and it's going to be just as easy as that so for example if you are just getting started if you have contacts from other platforms and stuff you can just go to import and start importing the data of the uh, customers for example you can just use the csv file format and just do this um, do it that way if you would prefer or if you want to add customers in a different way you can just simply click on the uh, menu icon again go to contacts and this is going to take you to the contacts page now in the contacts page here is going to be where you will find the list of all the contacts that you have already added now you can search for your contacts in here you can see a list of them you can find more information about them this is going to be your basically your hub for the contacts so how to actually go ahead and add a co contact uh, you can go ahead and just click on here but if you don't see it you can click on on the top right add contact and if you also don't see it you always can add stuff contacts or other stuff by clicking on the plus icon on the top right next to the mail and the history so click on that and it's going to show you the options of the stuff that you can create we can just go ahead and add contact now for adding contacts you will need to add their first name you'll need to add their last name uh, and you will have their email phone number organization organization they're working with or you know the organization they're uh, um, related to and who is this contact assigned to from one of the users that you have in your vtiger lifecycle uh, uh, stage so this is going to be where you manage whether they're a lead or a customer or you know competitor or partner whatever it may be that this customer is so you can just set this up and then the status of the relationship you have with the customer whether it's going to be cold warm or hot so that's as easy as that this is how to add contacts in here now what else we can just go ahead and talk about for example leads to add leads it's exactly the same you just go ahead to the leads tab and click on add lead and here you'll need to have more information so first name last name company email phone and this is how to add a lead and obviously from the leads tab here you will find the list of all the leads that you have you have added and you can also follow through the stages and keep updating them individually or assign people to have uh, them update the pro progress for that specific lead uh, by just assigning them from here next we have things like project management uh, also for sales and deals and stuff it's going to be exactly the same you just go to deals and by the way this is how vtiger works it's very simple and easy you just go to the actual tab that you want to add stuff to or update or manage or just check out and you can just click on new and set up these um, proper fields and just enter the fields that are required now for um, the project management we can add tasks very easily again same step you go to the tasks um, bar here and we can just click on add task and obviously fill in the information you can also add due dates estimated time to finish the task priority and so much more in here now one more thing before we uh, move on and end the video obviously i talked about how you can add more stuff in here contacts documents you just click on the plus icon and add whatever you want and it's going to be very quick add basically it's going to be very easy to do so uh, invoices and so on 
but if you want to have a much easier way instead of navigating through the all of this to find a specific thing that you keep going to for example if you're big on project management you can actually star uh, or favorite a few things for example if you are uh, constantly going to to the tasks dashboard instead of going to projects and clicking on tasks you can actually go ahead and um personalize things so it's much easier to do let me talk let me just show you what i'm trying to say here open up the menu and then after you open up the menu you just click on personalize on the top right of the menu and now we, we can just easily favorite the uh dashboards that we actually um more frequently go through so contacts for example uh, and for project management, we want tasks, and we also want uh, want projects. For sales, we want deals. For hmm, what else? Let's see something else. Just one more thing. Let's just do leads. Yes, and click on update. And after that, you can see on the top now we can actually go ahead and navigate between them much much easier. So this is pretty much all there is to show you, or at least as a beginner's guide for V Tiger. It's very easy to use. So go ahead, sign up, try it for yourself. See if it's worth it for you and your um, company team members and all of those things. Uh, and just go ahead and test it out for yourself. And that's pretty much all I have for you today. So I hope you liked this video and found it to be helpful. And thanks for watching.